coffee time. I'm back first. I call it my fuck it awakening. I will talk more about that in a little bit later, probably in the episode, but what happened on that day was so profound. Since that day, uh, so it's, you know, been, you know, over a couple weeks now, since that day, something dramatically has shifted. And there was a key that was unlocked, and the pain I have not felt in ounce of that debilitating pain that as you know if you've been following me that I that lingered with me way longer than I ever imagined it would about Vince about losing Vince and uh, it just came to me I could write a book about sex I could write a book about what I know about the female body that I've learned that can help men in an easy way like in a like a clip notes way For a year since I've seen him, this year has been a journey of trusting that voice within me that has led me into several romantic relationships this year. The, like my first date, there was just one date and a little bit of kissing, and then that led to a relationship, you know, and then another relationship in person for several months. Um, so. out of romance into pure friendship. So, I mean, if you want to call it breaking up. And at the same time as that has been transitioning out, a new person has come into my life, a new romantic connection. Noticing this, and I'm noticing this pattern this year. And the voice of shame, oh, let's just take a deep breath. I get this energy in my stomach because I have so many exciting things to share with you and then I, it reminds me that I need to breathe. Okay, so let's ask. Are so messed up. You just go from one guy to another. You aren't taking any time to just get to know yourself. You need to be alone. You need to heal. You are just, you know, one messed up relationship after another. You've been divorced. You've been married and divorced three times and now you're just dating all these men. And you're, so this voice of shame comes up. Relationships. The only pain I'm experiencing is self-judgment about them. Other than that, it's all really good. Like, really good. The fruit of all these relationships I've been in this year, it's like life-changing, healing, growing, expanding. How fucking incredible is that? That life provided this person, and I was able to receive this person in my life that created this safe container for me of comfort and safety and love and affection to allow me to grieve. Like a little kid to the possibility that that thing that you've always desired that maybe you can't even feel anymore because you pushed it down so deep. Would you just say yes to that desire right now? Would you just allow in your spirit and in your heart, just say, just say your name out loud. That's what I do to myself. I just say, Noel, yes. Here's me in front of you vulnerably saying that that whole term serial monogamous, you know how people say it in a judgmental way? Oh, look at how many, how many times she's been married. She just dates one guy after another. Fuck yeah, I do. And I love it. It's exactly what I'm meant to do. It's exactly what I'm meant to do. See is that, oh, I'm able to release this one, and then the next one comes. So, literally, they're like almost overlapping. I'm, I'm not left without somebody. And it's not that I can't be on my own. It's just, I'm just really, like, I'm designed for this. I'm just fucking designed for it. I just love it. I love to have a man in my life. Oh. This is my life right now. I'm embracing. I'm embracing that I like to be monogamous, but that I'm allowing um, these series of relationships to come into my life. Now, does that mean that I will never settle down? <laughs> Whatever that means. You know, I'm a very wild, adventurous person. Anybody, but just enjoy my life. 
just being here, just being who I am, dating somebody and falling in love because I want to, because life is providing whatever I need. And you know what happened after that, after I decided I didn't give a fuck about anything anymore? I started to get tons of energy to do everything. <laughs> <laughs>